Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So guys, my Patreon channel is up and running. So if you'd like to support your girl, you could definitely subscribe to my channel. You'll find a link in the description box below. I do post two exclusive videos per week on my channel. So check it out if you feel called to. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do people secretly think of you but won't say. So pile number one, you're going to be the yellow dog figurine. Pile number two, you're going to be the blue dog figurine. And pile number three, you're going to be the red dog figurine. So again, pile number one, yellow dog figurine. Pile number two, blue dog figurine and pile number three red dog figurine so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the figurine that you feel most drawn to You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below, and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi, Pawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pile number one, you picked the yellow dog figurine, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the Nine of Cups. People see you as wish fulfillment. They think of you as wish fulfillment. Or that you get your desires fulfilled easily. I'm getting like blessed and highly favored. You're definitely wish fulfillment. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? The Empress. Okay. They think that you are very attractive, you're extremely beautiful, okay, creative. There's definitely authenticity to you. Very attractive, extremely beautiful, creative, okay? And that's why some people, they are very much like, they see you as wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, but people secretly think that you're a model or you should model or something like that, whether you're a woman or a man. Definitely divine feminine, divine masculine energy. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles that you're a great catch. You bring a lot to the table. You're abundant. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Wow, we have the Hangman. You're different. You're unique for sure. And that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say because like you have a different type of perspective with the Hangman in reverse. You see the world totally different from what people normally see. Um, some people may think that you're very dreamy, okay, because the hangman is Pisces energy and Pisces is very much very dreamy. So people mystically think that of you, but they won't say, okay. What do people secretly think of you? Ooh, we have the five of cups. That there's an element of sadness to you, 
with the five of cups that you have some sort of like you've been through a lot of hardship when it comes to love heartbreaks deception betrayal okay and that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say because you come off as very protective of your energy protective of your emotions extremely guarded you definitely come off as someone who um like you've been hurt in the past so you don't want to experience an additional disappointment neglect okay so what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the king of swords yeah you could come off as very stoic when it comes to your emotions yeah like very detached emotionally detached you're you make uh logical decisions you don't use your heart you do what is best for you what is right so a lot of people may feel like you're cold or emotionally unavailable but you're very uh, you're highly intelligent with the king of swords and it's like it's hard to take advantage of you or it's hard to manipulate you because you don't really make um heartfelt decisions when it comes to like business or love or career or whatever it, or whatever it may be like any aspect of your life you think about how is this situation serving me it's not about like yeah you do have like let's say for for instance if it's like a situation like a love situation a relationship you don't think about oh I love this person even if this person's treating me wrong I still love them you don't think like that you think more like yes I have feelings for them but how are they making me feel how do I feel is this serving me in the long run by staying with this person or is it a detriment to my health or you know my self-esteem whatever it is that this person is triggering or affecting in your life and you make an informed decision based on that and you always choose yourself so some people could secretly think that you're selfish for putting yourself first with the king of swords but I'm getting like you're just very intelligent it's like you're not gonna over sacrifice yourself for people that are taking advantage of you you're not gonna do that with the king of swords so some people may use emotional manipulation to make you feel like some type of Way for choosing yourself and it's like no you're treating me like crap and then you want me to stay it's like that's not love and it's like you know love does not feel like that that's manipulation so you understand and you're able to see through the veil of people's deception okay we have the wheel of fortune so people secretly think that you are somebody who's very lucky but it's all of the hard work that you put into yourself to preparing yourself to improving yourself to doing things that are conducive to your growth elevating your mind doing the necessary shadow work that's why you come off as very lucky but it's not luck it's all about preparation so what i'm getting here with the five of wands people secretly think of you as competition as well but they won't say it they think that you're a major competition somebody that they have to overdo or outdo like there could be people at your workplace as well with the ace of pentacles that definitely see you as a threat but they won't say it. They think of you as a threat with the five of ones, like you're coming for their job, you're coming for their position because you keep elevating yourself, you keep improving yourself with the King of Swords. So you're somebody who's always studying, always learning, always like improving, okay? And you're not just settling for less. And some people, they just are comfortable being in the position that they're in and they don't need to grow they're comfortable there while you you're always like aiming for excellence aiming to become better than you were yesterday so some people they definitely see you as competition okay what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the knight of wands they think that you're somebody who's adventurous you walk to the beat of your own drums some of them they think that you're cocky with the knight of wands you're over overly confident or you're too like i don't know why i heard too sure like of yourself or like you think you're all that somebody thinks that you're all that that you think you're all that like they're trying to say like you're not that that good or they're trying to downplay you basically what do people secretly think of you but won't say wow we have the ten of swords like your cutoff game is on point like you don't play those games like you're gonna cut off somebody if they betray you or if they do something that you feel like is dishonorable or they do something behind your back and you sense it that this person betrayed you or something like that you're going to cut them off without warning with the ten of swords what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the ace of wands yeah they think that you're super creative magnetic very charming and we also have the six of cups nostalgic you bring like very nice memories like good memories 
okay some people they you remind them of somebody from their past or something or a pleasant a pleasant memory of the past some people that's how they feel about you that's what they secretly think of you you remind them of their childhood or their adolescent 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 my gosh adolescent <laughs> oh gosh okay what do people secretly think okay just one second guys what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the page of wands yeah they think that you're super creative here you have a youthful appearance to you you look definitely younger than your age so let's say if you are in your 30s you still look like you're in your early 20s if you are in your for, uh, 40s, same thing. You still look like you're early 20s or maybe late 20s, but you don't look your age. So that's really good. People compliment you on that as well with the Page of Wands. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the Knight of Pentacles, that you're cautious. You're a dedicated individual, but you are extremely cautious. Like it's kind of hard to get to know you. Okay, you have your guards up to people, but you're meticulous. You have amazing work ethics as well. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Yeah, you see the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords here. Definitely could have air in your chart. We have Libra here. And we have Taurus and Pisces. So it could be any of those signs or just embody that energy. But with the Queen of Swords, you're definitely stoic here. That's what people secretly think of you but they won't say. It's kind of hard to gauge what you're thinking what you're feeling because you have like a really good poker face with the queen of swords but you're highly intelligent extremely observant so you notice patterns in people and you also notice that people's words and their action do not match so that's one thing that you're really good at is picking up on like patterns like noticing patterns in people and behaviors in people like things that they say things that they do and it's like they okay so you know what i'm getting people may do certain things to you and then your reaction to them is the same thing and then they're wondering why you keep reacting like that and it's like they're not noticing that it's because they're doing a certain action that makes you react the way that you're reacting and it's like if you continue this action you're going to get this reaction from me you're not going to get anything different like it's like people are trying you trying you trying you to see if they're going to get a different reaction and it's not going to change so let's say for instance somebody is trying to provoke you into an argument and you don't even pay them no mind or you just ignore them they wonder why you're ignoring me like why you don't want to talk to me but it's like you're not trying to talk you're trying to argue there's a difference with talking to somebody or expressing yourself and arguing with somebody so you're not going to entertain that and it's not like you're stonewalling somebody it's really like this person's coming at you to attack you and you haven't done anything to the person so what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the six of wands they think of you as somebody who's successful victorious like you were in the spotlight like some of them that I'm telling you, people think that you're a show off with the Six of Wands because you are victorious, you get a lot of attention. You could definitely be a um, social media influencer or something like that. You have some sort of platform where people could see you, could see your work. And people are definitely saying that you're shining brightly and it's kind of bothering them because they see you as the Five of Wands as well, like competition. So they want to be better than you or they want to outdo you at you being you or something like that with the Six of Wands. But majestic energy here wow we see we have the knight of wands again guys they definitely see you as a show off i can't you know that's the energy i'm getting here with the knight of wands coming out twice like you know you're getting all the attention all eyes on you you're very attractive okay like flamboyant and people are just feeling some type of way about your presence like they think that you're like you're showing off your skills or showing off your looks what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the nine of swords you're definitely pressure you make people anxious when they are in your energy they feel like they have to compete or they have to be somebody like they feel inferior to you pile number one is not your fault it's them they have to deal with their insecurities but you make people feel insecure when they are in your presence okay with the nine of swords so if you find like somebody's like you know puffing up their chest or they have to do so many things or they have to like you know try to get at you or attack you or say something slick it's because of that don't bite the bait though spirit is saying don't bite the bait yeah, you see we have the hermit card virgo energy you keep to yourself you're very quiet 
about observing okay you observe people you notice their patterns you notice what they do what they say how they behave in certain situation okay you're healthy you're like your mind is definitely healthy with the um, the hermit like you keep to yourself you work out okay you're an introvert that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say and they don't like that they want you to like tell uh like all your business and stuff and it's like well if i don't want to i don't have to there's no law about like telling my business unless you're the police <laughs> what do people secretly think of you but won't say you know we have the two of wands okay so with the two of wands what i'm getting here is people secretly think that you're someone who has plans like you have i don't know why i heard undercover plans somebody thinks that you have undercover plans because of the hermit like you don't tell people your next move what do people secretly think of you Ooh, five of pentacles mm -mm -mm. like you leave people on red you leave people out in the cold or like i'm also gonna like, people secretly think that you overcame poverty okay because like there's definitely an air about you like you're very confident in who you are but you definitely have a vibe that you had to overcome some sort of adversity here okay so what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah you see you're definitely a go-getter with the three of wands you're action oriented you implement what you have been um planning with the two of wands with the three of wands you go for your dreams that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say people stalk you on social media yeah we have the hermit again virgo energy so you're definitely quiet they definitely think that you have a high self-esteem with the ace of cups you think highly of yourself you don't care what other, anybody says about you you think that you're the ish okay and that's completely healthy Thinking that you're better than everybody else is not healthy, but thinking that you are, you're great, you're, you're doing amazing, that you could do whatever you put your mind to is healthy, okay? So with the Hermit card, you definitely keep to yourself. You're definitely an introverted individual. This is what, this is what people secretly think of you, but they won't say, and it bothers them because they want to know what you're up to. They're so intrigued by you, and it's like, why are you so nosy? <laughs> we have the empress again guys the empress again so we have virgo libra and taurus that came out twice five of wands at the bottom of the deck guys i'm telling you you are competition for a lot of people okay with the empress energy people secretly think that some people they think that you're out of their league or they can never compete with you because you're so beautiful and you're so creative and talented because you're more than just your looks because we do have the king and the queen of swords so that means you not only are you beautiful or handsome you are intelligent too so you have the brain to back up the beauty it's not just you know a pretty face and that's it like you actually are intelligent and that's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say, and that's what bothers them. And not only are you intelligent, you keep to yourself. It's like a beautiful woman that is able to stand on her own and doesn't need approval from anyone is dangerous. The same way that a man is dangerous where he doesn't need approval from other women to feel validated, like he doesn't care, like he's handsome, he knows that, but it's not all that he has. It's not just his looks, he's highly intelligent, you know, like can stand on his own two feet could do on his own so like yeah like people that's what they secretly think of you but they won't say okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if you did don't forget to like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two you picked the blue dog figurine and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie oh welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings, okay? 
So my pal number two. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you, my pal number two, but won't say? We have five of swords. Ooh, 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 my pal number two. You're not the one to be played with. <laughs> I don't know why I heard you woke up and chose violence today. <laughs> Ooh <-wee. laughs> You're not the one to be played with, with the five of swords. Like, like if somebody comes at you, like I feel like you pick your battles wisely with the five of swords. It's not like you always want to fight and argue and prove your point. Um, what I'm getting here with the five of swords is more the energy of like, this person i don't know why there's a specific person coming through but there could be a person that likes to provoke you or do things to get under your skin and then when you react to this person they try to play the victim like oh look what you did is to you and it's like well you kept on poking at me and eventually i'm going to you know react and that's exactly what it is with the five of swords so some people they feel like you could be um reactive they secretly think that you uh overreact to certain things but it's like I'm not here to be your punching bag. That's the energy I'm getting from you, pal number two. You're not here to be anybody's punching bag. If they're gonna talk to you, they're gonna come correctly. They're not gonna talk to you sideways or talk to you crazy just because they are feeling some type of way the day that you know they spoke to you. It's like, no, like learn to control yourself. Especially if I haven't done anything to you. Why are you lashing out on me? So what do people secretly think of you but won't say? wow we have the four of wands and we have the nine of pentacles that's why they come for you for your money because you live a life of luxury you are abundant you're too happy for these people with the four of wands that's gonna be people in your neighborhood or it could be people at work that want to get under your skin it's like people that just want to piss you off just to piss you off they want to see you react so that way they could be like yeah i got her i got her to act out of character i got her to be annoyed like they enjoying seeing you in emotional distraught like they like that it makes them sing with joy like whoever this person is or these people they're kind of annoying like i could definitely understand why you want to <laughs> Cuss them out because oh my gosh who lives like that whoever these people are they they just they're like miserable people because it's like why would you even want to be around somebody that you don't like just let the person go if you don't rock with somebody just leave them alone why do you want to be around the person that you don't even like you don't even mess with like that why put yourself in this emotional anguish just to be around somebody you don't like that doesn't make no sense but they don't like your happiness that's what they secretly think of you like you're too happy you live a life of luxury you are like cocky um snobbish with the nine of pentacles high maintenance too much you're too much you're too much <laughs> it's because they can't afford it okay just say you can't afford it don't say it's too much it's out of your budget <laughs> What do people secretly think of you but won't say that they think you're snobbish? What do people secretly think of you? Because you you only want um, great experiences and there's nothing wrong. Why would you want to suffer? Who wants to suffer? Who wants to stress out? Like we have the Empress here. Like if somebody's bringing you only stress, anxiety, sleepless night, drop the person, okay? Like don't chill with them, don't talk to them, don't call them, just cut them off. Like, you know, like life is too short to be stressed out over anyone, whether it's friendship, whether it's family, whether it's love, like you don't have time for that. But with the Empress, people secretly think that you are very beautiful. They they envy the life of a luxury you live. You see the five of swords and you see all these cards. It's not the same energy. This is a beautiful energy, but some people they feel like you will go above and beyond to protect your peace. Like somebody acts a certain way and you're just like you give people chances after chances after chances and it's like it's not like you just cut off people like just like that i don't get that from you my pal number two i feel like you are extremely patient but people play in your face they play in your face my pal number two i really get that and then they get surprised when you're done it's like you've been playing all along and i'm tired of your nonsense Okay, I'm even, I'm getting mad for you, my pal number two, because these people are getting on my nerve. Like, what? 
<laughs> they definitely view you as the empress though like they think that you're they, they view you as somebody who's lucky that's why they're jealous of you there's definitely an air of jealousy here especially with the five of swords it's like i don't feel like you're this person on the five of swords i feel like you're these people in the background walking away because it's like oh i had enough like i'm done like i'm not doing this anymore like like who has time for that that's the energy i'm getting here like I, you're like i'm not doing that anymore i'm not dealing with people like that anymore or I'm not just, you're not dealing with people's BS. Like, that's the energy I feel like you're on my pal number two. Like, you're not doing this with people. You're just not entertaining people like that anymore. And they definitely think, they secretly think that you're lucky because of your beauty. This is the reason why you're getting that life of luxury. You didn't work hard for it. It was given to you with this four of wands. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Yeah, we have the nine of pentacles. You're cautious. Yeah, you make people, like, the... They have anxiety or they get nervous in your energy. They feel like they have to play a role or pretend to be something that they're not in order to be around you or to have you. Let's say if it's like relationship, they feel like they have to put on a front, put on a show. But it's like, well, nobody told you to put on a show. Nobody said that you had to be something else. And I don't feel like you look down on people with a nine of pentacles. Like you just like luxurious things. You like expensive things. And you're the one who's paying for it it's not like you're asking somebody to pay for your expenses or pay for what you want and it's like sorry about that my pal number two so yeah definitely some distraction okay so people what they secretly think of you is that you are someone who is i don't know why i heard above their pay grade i think i heard that for pal number one as well I don't know what to, I think it has to do with your workplace my pal number two I feel like collectively it's like people that in your workplace that are yapping talking about you because you maybe you're quiet you do your work and you go home you could be very attractive you just really well okay um, like and then you make people nervous like they have to I don't know what they have to put on a show or something what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah you see we have the seven of pentacles that you're dedicated but you keep people at arm's length with the page of pentacles that's what i'm getting here that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say with the page of pentacles with that energy you're definitely a dedicated individual you're patient with yourself or you're patient with others that's why i was getting like earlier when i was saying you give people chance after chance after chances with the seven of pentacles it's not like you cut off people like just right off the bat it's like you see a red flag in somebody you try to like you know maybe you're thinking like to yourself oh maybe i'm just tripping or i'm like judging them too harshly but then you actually write when you move along in the connection with the person you actually like yo i was right all along about you like those feelings those intuition i was getting about you i was right like you you're a snake you're this you're that you know and you cut off people it could even be people in your workplace that you've noticed that they're shady deceptive yeah, you're definitely highly intuitive. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. That's why some of them, they're nervous around you because they could see that. They could sense that you could see through them, through their bullshit. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I had to say it. They could see it, okay? Yeah, we have the magician. They secretly think that you're a master manifester or that you know how to manipulate energy. That's what I'm getting here. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say with the magician. What do people secretly think of you, but they won't say? Ooh, we have the lovers. We have Gemini energy twice. So you could have Gemini in your chart. You could have Taurus. It could be a Gemini Taurus cusper or a Gemini uh, Cancer cusper. We also have Virgo. We have Virgo twice with the Nine of Pentacles. And we have Libra as well, as well as um, Sagittarius. So you could have any of those signs in your chart, but you are definitely a lucky individual, okay? But it's not even about luck, it's just the preparation. You prepare yourself to be successful. You put yourself in a position to be successful. You do the necessary steps to be successful. And this is why you are granted what you have been granted. And this is the reason why you are being blessed, my pal number two. But people secretly think that you make the best choice for yourself with the lovers. You bet you make what is you do what is right and just for you. Like you don't put other people's needs above your own. And some people may think that you're selfish for that but sometimes you have to it's like other people are putting their needs before your own so why should you put their needs before your own 
if they're not even reciprocating they're not like including you what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say there's a card that fell on the floor i'm gonna pick it up Ooh, the three of cups in reverse I i'm gonna like they're saying that you're not too friendly not that you're not that um like okay <laughs> somebody's hating guys i can't even speak but okay there's a word in creole haitian creole is called sumun okay you're not sumun so sumun means it's somebody who is all up in people's face you know like sumun could kind of be like kind of like people pleasing energy a little bit you could say that it's like if you were to translate it in english that would be like people pleasing like you know all the people's face always smiling but people pleasing is not even a good energy but in sumun is not like in like haitians like they don't they always tell their children it can't be sumun all up in people's face like they say that like you know mind your business and i feel like you're not like that you're not sumun okay with the three of cups in reverse and they don't like that okay they say that you're not friendly but it's like uh-uh Boy, bye <laughs> like all people's grill mind your business and that's exactly what you're doing yeah you're definitely highly intuitive and the reason why you're not all people's face is because you could sense that their energy is off you could sense that they're being deceptive or they're trying to throw jabs at you and they think that you don't you're not noticing like you're you're some kind of dummy like no you're being shady and i could pick it up like what the heck we have the high if we have the full card yeah you definitely walk to the beat of your own drums you do your own thing that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the queen of wands yeah they think that you're very attractive but they, they think that you're they secretly think that you're full of yourself with the queen of wands like you think you're all that i'm telling you with the nine of pentacles they they want to humble you. People want to humble you with the five of swords, but it doesn't work because you walk away or you don't entertain the drama. You're just like, okay, whatever, man. Like, if this is how you feel, bye. 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 <laughs> what do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the Hierophant, okay? A wise counselor, highly intelligent. Okay, that's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the world card like you're accomplished and we have the six of swords yeah like you're very calm cool and collected like you don't enter you don't engage in unnecessary conflict if something doesn't work out for you i feel like you like i said you give people chances you express and voice your concerns and if the person doesn't get it then it's on them like you're not going to keep repeating yourself and repeating yourself you're just going to remove yourself from a situation that just doesn't work for you anymore like you're just not going to do it anymore like you're the type of person that will just block somebody and delete and move on with your life like you're not going to go back and forth and tell them like i told you to do this that not nah, not nah, you don't you don't want to do it you're showing me that you don't care about my needs then i'm out what do people secretly think of you but they won't say yeah we have judgment you're a great judge of character you know how to close cycles with people with the world card like when you're done you're actually done like you're actually really done you give multiple chances but people that's what they think like they think your kindness for weakness like you go oh you're gonna keep doing it and then do keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it and it's like no what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you yeah we have the empress again yeah, the Empress came out twice for pal number one as well. So I feel like collectively you guys are just very attractive. You're in your Empress energy. You're a master manifester. You know how to speak things into existence. You know how to make things happen for yourself. If you say you're going to get this, you're going to get it. You're going to speak it to, into your life. You're going to, you know, put your foot forward and then be like, yes, I want this. This is what I'm going to get. And you get it. What do people secretly think of you, but they won't say? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you're not afraid of walking away. Yeah. To leave things that don't serve you to withdraw from situations do not that do not serve you you're not afraid of doing that with the eight of cups that's what, that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say they know that you know your worth people that know their worth they're not afraid to walk away from something that don't serve them it's like okay you know what i had enough okay like i keep getting that energy like i don't know why i'm getting that energy that you had enough with somebody or some people and those are the ones that are talking about you 
like I'm getting an energy like you had enough with someone. This person is definitely coming through in the reading. We have the six of pentacles. Yeah, they know that you're generous. Like I said, you keep giving up, giving after giving and giving and giving and giving. This person just keep taking, 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 and they don't reciprocate. Uh oh, boy, bye. And now they're gonna say that you, you're oh you're not so moon. Okay, well good. You shouldn't be. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? Yeah, Ace of Swords, I'm telling you. And Five of Swords again, I'm telling you guys. Yo, they're mad at you for speaking your truth, okay? You're definitely an honest individual. That's what they secretly think of you, but they won't say that. Sometimes you could, have, you could be kind of harsh with your words. That's what I'm getting here. But it's like, boy, bye. Like, I told you like more than once that what it was and you're not listening. So that's your problem and not mine. That's the energy I feel like you're on, my pal, number two. And people just don't get it. Like... They're not trying to hear your side of the story. They just want to make you out to be the bad guy. So, so be it. But you're going to walk away from things and place people that do not serve you. And that's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say. They feel like you're selfish for doing that. Like that you should tolerate them. Like, no, we don't have to tolerate anything. Life is too short to, you know, have headaches and lose your hair. Uh oh, no. All right. So that's all I have for you by pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the red dog figurine, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three. What do people secretly think of you but won't say? What do people secretly think of you but won't say? We have the high priestess, that you're highly intuitive. You scare people with your intuition. People don't want to be around you, my pal number three. Like people know that you could pick up on their negativity or they could you could pick up on their shadiness or you know, like you know, when somebody's acting shifty, you could pick up on it with the high priestess. So you could see their games or their lies and manipulation that they're trying to do to you. What do people secretly think of you? Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. You're highly confident, okay? You are very attractive. You're very attractive with the Queen of Wands energy. You're assertive, okay? Um, some people, they think that you're... Oh my gosh, you know what? I got that for all three piles that you guys think you're all that. Yeah, like I feel like collectively people think that you think you're all that because you walk with your head held high. You're extremely confident in who you are, what you bring to the table. You're very attractive, okay? You're self-sufficient with the Queen of Wands. So you believe in your dreams. You believe in your abilities to make things happen. So what do people secretly think of you but they won't say? We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. So you could have Scorpio or Cancer or Taurus in your chart or you could just be those signs as well okay and what I'm getting here with the death card you're definitely magnetic here you're definitely uh, transformative resilient that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say definitely resilient okay with the death card and with the te not temperance oh you could have Sagittarius in your chart but with the Hierophant what I'm getting is that you're extremely wise beyond your years here my pal number three sometimes you may at times like second guess yourself because like you don't want to come off like too harsh when you make a judgment on somebody but your intuition is always on point with the high priestess like whenever you pick up something on somebody like they're being shady or deceptive or they're not being their authentic genuine self you could pick it up with the high priestess and I feel like other people could sense that that you're catching on to their games and you're going to like cut them off or distance yourself from the person and I feel like that's what you did recently to somebody and this person's kind of livid or they're kind of mad that you caught on to them and you just decided to drop them like a bad habit like I feel like you left this person's life 
quietly so you may have blocked this person out of nowhere you just woke up one day and you're like you know maybe even like the day that you blocked them you probably told like you know spoke to them like as if everything was okay and then out of nowhere block and this person's shot <laughs> Whoever this person is, is livid. Because <laughs> you blocked their ass. Oh, that's what they get for being shady. I feel like this person was shady and you're like, you had enough of their shadiness. So you just cut them off. Like this person kept on lying in your face. And it's like, they were saying like, petty lies like things that they're not they don't even need to lie about it's like minor things and it's like they're like i'm getting this person's a path pathological liar it's like oh god what do people secretly think of you but they won't say like they definitely say that you're wise beyond your years what do people secretly think of you but they won't say yeah you're definitely a great judge of character with the judgment card you may have um i was gonna say saturn you may have capricorn in your chart you're a great judge of character what do people secretly think of you but they won't say yes you see king and queen of wands you definitely have a really good balance of feminine and masculine energy within you you know how to gauge a situation to see if it's going to be conducive to you conducive to your growth but you're also assertive okay you're very powerful with the king of wands and the queen of wands you know how to assert yourself you know how to exercise your will on the universe and you're definitely a go-getter you go after what you want you need you're not afraid of like speaking your truth to people with the king and the queen of wands okay like you tell people like, like it is okay when you see something shady you you say it we have the two of pentacles okay you're you may have multiple skills and talents here that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say or that you juggling a lot of responsibilities you have a lot on your plate you may have like a demanding job or something like that or just your life is very demanding you may have a lot of responsibilities when it comes to your household so you could be a wife you could be a husband you could be a mother teacher so you have multiple titles that in multiple um, commitments that you have to um engage in and people are definitely saying that about you that's what they secretly think of you but they won't say that's why you're always committed to improving yourself with the death card what do people secretly think of you but they won't say yeah we have the six of swords you're the type of person that do not like drama with the six of swords like you will walk away from something or places or things that do not serve you okay so with the six of swords you you're not afraid of leaving somebody behind or something unfulfilling to you that you're just like okay you know what i'm like this is unfulfilling to me this is not you know getting me anywhere it's not helping me it's not making me grow so i'm gonna leave it behind and move forward with my life without any drama like i'm gonna like you're no nonsense no drama so if you address a situation and whoever you address it to because i feel like this is somebody coming through okay that you may have cut off and this person is upset with you for cutting them off because you've addressed the situation multiple times on multiple occasions and this person is just not getting the picture or they don't care like you feel like they don't care so you're just like okay well if you don't care like why do i care <laughs> like that's the energy like you're reciprocating the energy yeah <laughs> queen of swords like i'm telling you okay and this person could be gossiping about you to other people so people are just listening to this person vent about you like oh pile number three is just selfish they don't care about me but it's like boy bye i told you many times what you're doing wrong and you're not changing it you're just telling me feeding me lies and then you know with the queen of swords you're like you know what i'm gonna do what is best for me and that's exactly what you did with the queen of swords and that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say like you don't have an issue cutting off people things places habits that do not serve you if it doesn't work for you you're going to drop this person or this situation it doesn't have to be a specific person it could even be work maybe you left a job that your boss was overbearing and you're like you know what i'm not doing this anymore you try to stay there for a long time and try to endure the maybe abuse or whatever like you know somebody like um you know how like there's some manager that they're overbearing and stuff or they like to micro micromanage and you're like oh you can't breathe that's what i'm getting here maybe you had to leave a situation like that what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the magician you're a master manifester you know how to manipulate the elements okay you're you're very creative because the magician has many skills and talent because the magician has all the elements right in front of him so he could tap into every element so you may have gemini or virgo in your chart you're extremely articulate here what do people secretly think of you but won't say that's way too many cards 
what do people secretly think of you thank you yes the hangman okay you're hesitant or you're guarded but also you think outside the box maybe you bring in fresh new ideas to work i feel like you may work in an office space my pal number three not all of you but those of you that work in an office space people could be intimidated by the ideas that you come up with or the solutions to dilemmas coming dilemmas maybe there's like dilemmas that you guys had like the company had for a long time before you came and then as you come along on board you come up with new ideas new ways of doing things and people could definitely be intimidated by that with the hangman because like you know you have um a different way of seeing the world like i said you think outside the box and people don't like that because it makes them feel small or make them feel like oh they're not as unique you know but it's like it's not about being unique it's about being yourself we have the high priestess again yeah they definitely secretly think that you're some of them they think that you're psychic with the high priestess being here twice or that you are into tarot into divination maybe that like obviously i feel like a lot of you could be reading tarot as well especially if you watch tarot like usually people that watch tarot are into tarot they usually have tarot decks so um i'm getting like here like you can definitely be a tarot reader sorry about that my pal number three see interruptions somebody doesn't want you to hear this message but with the high priestess here being here twice you definitely could be into divination okay but people secretly think that of you that you are a tarot reader okay some some people at your workplace may know that you're a tarot reader especially if you have a platform maybe these people are like instigating you googling you <laughs> like investigating your ass <laughs> what do people secretly think of you but won't say Ooh, six of wands victorious you could definitely be in the spotlight my pal number three that's what's getting like maybe some of your tarot readers yourself yeah with the six of ones you're definitely victorious you have some sort of platform or some sort of like public recognition some people they may think that you're cocky because of that yeah chariot cancer energy you're driven we have cancer three times so you could have cancer in your chart because cancer is here three times okay so cancer energy is here heavy you definitely ha are driven. That's what people secretly think of you, but they won't say like you're somebody who gets gets going. Like you don't stop for anyone. If something doesn't work out for you, you go move on to the next thing. And I see two, two, two on my clock. So two, two, two could be a significant number for you. Maybe this is like um, a number that you see often. This is definitely the number of partnership, um, new season in your life. Like you're definitely on the right path if you're seeing two, two, two when it comes to love. Um, if you have just broken up with somebody recently i feel like this was the right thing to do it was not the right person for you i don't know why i'm being called to say that but i'm getting like it wasn't the right person for you if you just broke up with somebody recently do not try to rekindle the connection because there's someone way better for you there's a way better energy that's going to be aligned with your mission because where you're going right now this person cannot go with you they don't want to grow they they're not trying to grow they're trying to stay stagnant in the same energy because it's comfortable for them so what do people secretly think of you but won't say yeah we have the page of pentacles you're cautious you keep people at arm's length you don't allow people to come into your energy too much yeah we have the four of wands they, they definitely think that you're somebody who's very stable or you you live a like you have a very happy home with the four of wands you're always celebrating or you are celebrated that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say some people also secretly think that you're married okay with the four of wands maybe like obviously like some people i don't know if like some people don't wear their w wedding rings obviously it's cheaters that do that <laughs> but i mean like people that are not cheating wouldn't wear like would normally wear their wedding rings but there could be people maybe like you don't have a, a wedding ring yet or something like that i feel like um maybe you keep your personal life very private with the four of wands as well and that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say but they kind of feel like either if you're not married yet you could be in a committed relationship high level relationship with the the hair front. what do people secretly think of you but they won't say holy moly that's way too many cards what do people secretly think of you but they won't say we have the full card yeah you're definitely adventurous 
that's what they secretly think of you but they won't say but you keep it to yourself or you do you do take risks in life that are that are actually rewarding for you because you trust your intuition with the high priestess like when something feels right and you really want to do it the universe actually opens the door for you and with the with the magician it's like things are progressing for you naturally like when you say okay i want to do this and i really want this i really have this i believe that i have it already the spirit is going to make it happen for you what do people secretly think of you but they won't say what do people secretly think of you yeah we have the knight of pentacles slow and steady energy you are meticulous i'm getting like conventional practical down to earth that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say but there's definitely that energy of being cautious you are extremely cautious with the people around you the information that you share how you come across like your energy who is allowed in your space like you're very cautious of that you don't just allow just anyone just because like if somebody try to come into your life they disturb your spirit disturb your energy you let them go what do people secretly think of you but won't say what do people secretly think of you but won't say okay wow the queen of wands again guys definitely assertive confident beautiful you get a lot of attention we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so this is definitely financial stability abundance okay that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say that you come off like you come off like you come from money or that there is something stable about you with the queen of wands what do people secretly think of you yeah we have the knight of wands like you have like your boundaries up you have your boundaries up with people you don't trust easily i keep getting that energy you don't trust easily that trust here people have to earn it and they have to prove themselves to even be in your energy to even get close to you what do people secretly think of you but won't say they also think that you've been you've been through a lot of hardship in your life and this is the reason why you're very guarded yeah we have the four of wands like they secretly think that you come from a happy home a stable home abundant okay what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the five of cups yeah that you've been through hardship heartbreak regret sorrow disappointment before so right now you don't have time to like m any misstep mishap from any situations like you don't have time for that like you're only going to focus on what brings you like harmony happiness okay like nothing stressful and this is what i'm getting here with the five of cups like you're not dealing with that and that's what people secretly think of you but they won't say like they know that you're not the type of person that's going to endure drama we have the three of cups okay yeah happiness like i said like you're just more about you know your enjoyment with the people that you love because we have four of wands twice four of wands is all about happiness celebration you know stability happy home there's no sorrow or crying when the four of wands comes out like it also represents twin flame soulmate if you believe in twin flame or soulmate but it also represents stability happy home celebration of like a good news or promotion so you're more in that energy where like anything that disturbs that it's just like i'm not doing that and if it's like anything that brings you unhappiness or it's not fulfilling your needs you're just like okay well i'm good <laughs> move on to the next what do people yeah six of swords i can't make it up guys i can't make it up six of swords you will move on to calmer waters you're all about peace of mind things that do not work that do not serve you you want to let it go and anybody who comes in with chaotic energy cha like you know drama you're not going to entertain that what do people secretly think of you but won't say we have the tower yeah People secretly think that you're unpredictable, you're hard to read. You may have Scorpio in your chart. We have Scorpio twice, so you could have Scorpio. You're definitely like come off as unpredictable, hard to read, hard to um, analyze or something like that. People try to like read you, but because of like your high priestess energy, you know how to protect yourself or you know how to cloak your energy so nobody could try to tap into it you may have people try to do readings on you especially if they know that you're a tarot reader they're trying to tap into your energy to find out what you got going on i feel like you have a very strong spiritual team like some people 
they're really good at cloaking themselves because they have learned how to do that but some people may not know how to do that but they have powerful ancestors so sometimes people be messing around with the wrong person and the ancestors come and bite you in the butt so you got to be careful who you try to tap in their energy because <laughs> some people have those crazy ancestors okay so i feel like you pal number three even if like let's say if you don't know how to cloak your energy or protect your energy or like you do it but you don't always do it just know that you are protected my pal number three like your ancestors don't play about you like if somebody's trying to send you negativity they it may affect you a little bit like you may have a headache here and there but it definitely ricochets back to the person tenfold and they get the picture after that okay <laughs> unless they're somewhat <laughs> without shame <laughs> and then they keep doing it so yeah so that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye!